Greetings sophomores. The counseling department is excited to share this program with you regarding career, academic leadership and enrichment opportunities. Congratulations, you are now in your sophomore year. And yes, your sophomore year is important. You're no longer freshmen, and even though graduation is more than two years out, what you do now can have a lasting impact on your future. Today's presentation covers not only academic and career opportunities that are available to you, but also extracurricular and community involvement. So let's start with academic programs. The first is concurrent enrollment. You might also be heard to re referred to as CE. This is where you can take a college course while you're still in high school, get both high school and college credit at the same time, and the tuition is paid for. It's true. That's what concurrent enrollment is. So who's eligible for concurrent enrollment? You are. All you need to do is be in high school, have 85% attendance, meet the college placement requirements for the class that you're wanting to take, and be on track for graduation. There's two different ways you can take concurrent enrollment classes. You could go off campus to Arapaho Community College, or you can take CE Western Civ here your senior year, and that's History 101 and History 102. We're often asked, well, what type of classes can I take while doing concurrent enrollment? We have a list of some, just some of the classes that heritage students have taken through concurrent enrollment. Sign language, intro to psychology, English composition, Calc 3. The list goes on and on. The key thing is the class that you take must align with your career, individual career and academic plan. CE classes are offered at a variety of different times. ACC's classes are in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Typically, a class will run on Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday for about an hour and a half each day. But there's other varieties as well. Some classes only meet one day a week. Due to COVID, many classes this fall have shifted and are being held remotely or virtually. Spring 2021 will most likely be the same. When you're picking out your classes, it's very important that you meet with your counselor to make sure that the class times will fit in your heritage schedule. We will work with you as much as possible. If this sounds like something that you want to do, there will be a concurrent enrollment meeting during advisory Monday and Tuesday, October 26th and 27th in the theater. Registration will open for ACC starting November 2nd and will close December 4th. So it's a small window of time. We want to be able to connect you with getting into the classes. Another opportunity is career technical education. I like to say, do something real with your education by taking CTE classes. This is a great opportunity for you to explore careers while you're still in high school. Some of these programs are offered at Heritage, while others are offered through neighboring districts. Are you interested in cosmetology? You can apply to the Cosmo or Esthetician program through Inglewood Schools and be a certified cosmetologist when you complete the program. Interested in automotive technology? Enroll in the Auto Tech program and earn ASC certifications. Cybersecurity, health science, fire science, teaching careers, pro start, criminal justice, and so much more. If you're wanting to explore more about CTE classes, you will have this slide deck in your Google Classroom where you can access the links provided. You click on this, this will bring you to Littleton Public Schools homepage for career technical education. If you click on out of district, you will be brought to all the different courses that are available to you as a heritage student. Take a look at that and see if anything, if any of these classes interest you. We will be having a meeting in February regarding enrolling in CTE classes. So if you're interested, have that on your radar. In February, we will start the enrollment process for next school year. So back to our presentation. Make a difference and get involved. Heritage has a wide variety of clubs and organizations. Getting involved can lead you to leadership and other type of position opportunities. You can develop better communication, teamwork, organizational management, and other skills. 
And really, to be honest, it's a great way for you to have fun and meet other students. On your screen is just a selection of some of the clubs and organizations that we have here at Heritage. Please make sure you visit the Heritage website under activities and clubs to learn more. And if there's a club that you're interested in that's not being offered, talk to Ms. McCormick and possibly start your own club. Many of you might be familiar with Sources of Strength from Middle School. At Heritage, Sources of Strength is sponsored through the Counseling Department. Its mission is to help Heritage community recognize and turn their strengths and supports, turn to their strengths and supports during trying times. If you're interested in sources, please reach out to Mrs. Abbott in counseling. Volunteering allows you to connect to your community and make it a better place. And volunteering is a two-way street. It can benefit you and your family as much as the cause that you choose to help. Dedicating your time as a volunteer helps you make new friends, expand your network, and boost your social skills. This is a great website, volunteermatch.org to explore the volunteer opportunities that are available to you. You can put in the city that you live. I'm going to keep it as Littleton. And then you can choose different things that you're interested in. I'm going to choose animals. I enjoy animals. And I'm going to click on filters. And I'm going to say for teenagers, because I want to make sure that it's something for me. And I don't want to drive too far. So I want to say within a 10 mile distance of me. I'm going to scroll down and click save. And three different career uh, volunteer opportunities have popped up. So I can click on them and learn more about those volunteering opportunities. I can also expand a little bit more and say, I also like to work with children and youth. Now I have 25 different volunteer opportunities. So Volunteer Match is a great um, website resource for you if you're looking at volunteering. At the end, I want you to just think about where do you volunteer? Talk amongst your advisory class. Who volunteers and why do you do it? What have you learned about yourself when you volunteer? Jobs, jobs, jobs. Many students start looking for jobs around their sophomore, junior year. You can start working really as young as 14. Most places though would like you to be 15 years old. If you need a worker's permit, please stop by the counseling office and Ms. Moody can help you. Go to the postgrad to help with building a resume as well. There are countless of leadership and enrichment programs to meet all interests. We are sharing some that the heritage, heritage students have participated in and shared was a worthwhile experience. The Arapahoe Rescue Patrol is looking for young adults who would be willing to make a commitment to serve their community and help those in need. The active membership is comprised of high school students between 9th and 12th grades. The patrol accepts requests for new membership every spring. If you're interested in this, there's a YouTube video linked along with a link to the Arapahoe Rescue Patrol in the slide deck. The next few slides are leadership opportunities offered through the summer. Be sure to click on the links if you're interested. This particular one, Hobie, is a sophomore only program geared towards young leaders dedicated to leadership service, and innovation. RILA is a leadership camp offered through Rotary at the YMCA of the Rockies in Estes Park. They are offering several camps this summer. Because it's through Rotary, there's often little to no cost. If this sounds like something you would like to do, make sure you click on the link and check it out. If you're interested in world affairs, and understanding the causes of international, international conflict, this might be the organization for you. World Affairs Seminar is offered through Rotary International. This year's seminar is about urban life in a changing world. If you're interested, be sure to check on, click on the link and learn more. Colorado Student Leaders Institute is a summer residential program on the University of Colorado Denver campus. For approximately one month each summer, this summer there's two sessions, Colorado's best and finest students live and study on the campus and earn three hours of college credit. Students choose from one of two majors, either international studies 
or STEAM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math, and explore diverse topics through a lecture series by university professors and three hands-on projects. So I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds. I want you to turn to a neighbor and share out one piece of information that you learned here that you might want to explore or learn a little bit more about. Go ahead and go. Okay. Well, your counseling department is here to help. If any of these opportunities sounded interesting to you, please come and visit us, make an appointment with your counselor, and we can talk to you about these opportunities and help get you rolling in the right direction. Have a great year. We'll see you soon. Bye, Eagles.